Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we've got part two of our tip series with climbing physio wizard, Pablo Scorza. And today, as usual, I get to join in. Hello everybody, I'm Pablo Scorza. We are back here in Margale for the uh, courses of Rockbusters. And today I will give you some tips what, what we can do with this TerraBand to train our antagonist muscles. Matt, I will need your help again, please. Good to see you, man. Cool, <laughs> nice. So, very simple too again, here's the ball. But today we're gonna use this to train a little bit our antagonist muscles. I would like to say first that antagonist muscle, it's a, uh, there is a big uh, mistake on understanding of it, because antagonist is the muscle that works against some function, okay? But not working as an enemy, is balancing this function. And climbers, they really believe that their biceps is their agonist. And I can see usually the triceps using being more agonist than the biceps, because the triceps is not only extension of the elbow, but it's also extension of the shoulder, which we do quite a lot. So we can't say that training our triceps, we are training our antagonist and we are preventing injuries. But there are some things that we can do and basically can help more, almost all climbers. That is working on our external rotation. Because all, basically, all the climbing movements, the tendency is to produce this inner rotation of the shoulder, okay? So a part of biceps or triceps, flexor or extensor, being agonist or antagonist, the rotation is always the agonist because nobody climbs like this. We climb putting our body on this. So it's very important to work on the antagonist pattern of movement for the shoulder. Is that clear for you? I hope it's clear for all of you because it's very important. So the first one is just the external rotation here, okay? So basically you have to keep your elbows 90 degrees. Your elbow can go a little bit farther from your ribs. There is no big deal with this, but it's very important to keep it on 90 degrees here. Okay. So you work both elbows all the way. Can you go more backwards? More, 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 that's it. Put your omoplate together, yes. That's great. Very good. We lost the ball. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, very good one. It's very important to keep this rotation, the supination of the forearm, and then you feel you're opening your chest mm -hmm. by training these external rotators. This is very basic and I recommend for pretty much all climbers. Okay, the second one is pretty much the same, but you just have your elbows straight. So you're gonna open and you're gonna try to go farther as you can with the supination growing back and slowly to the front. That's it. Very good. All the way back. Cool. Very good. Let's try again. Very good. That's great. And the third one is the diagonal, the external diagonal. So one hand stays here on this external rotation in line with your body. The other arm is just cross in front of you. And then you go on this diagonal and ro external rotation. That's it. Cool, perfect. That's it, very good. Fantastic. Very good. Awesome and on the other side. Okay, so these exercises I recommend after a climbing day, if you're gonna rest the next day. So if you go climb two days in a row, you don't do it. You do it in the last, on the end, on the end of your climbing day, when you're gonna rest the next day. If you train too much the antagonists before climbing, they will be even weaker. So it can increase your tendency to get injured, to have more unstable shoulder. I recommend this after climbing before the rest day. You should find a TerraBand that allows you the resistance, the intensity of the TerraBand allows you to do around 15 times. Okay. 15 times, and what I, it's very good also in the end, you can keep in this final position for 15 seconds. Okay. So you find the TerraBand where it allows you to do 15, 15, here the same, you go all the way back 15 times and then you hold for 15 seconds 
and then the same on diagonal here and on diagonal here. This is very, uh, it's a general concept. If you're training boulder or if you're training long endurance, you have to adapt this as well. But when I have to give a tip, I give this 15 repetition, three times after climbing and you have this antagonist training of elastic done for the rotation of the shoulder. Cool. Thank you, man. Awesome. Enjoy. Thanks for that, Pablo. I've linked his website in the description below if you want to check him out further. Now, this week's pick of the week is an old classic, the DMM Dragon Cams. This week's pick of the week is the new DMM Dragon Cam. These have been improved in almost every way from the original design, and for one week only, we're selling them at an extra 20% off. The DMM Dragon Cams have been a trad climber's favorite for years, and this redesign has further improved this iconic cam. The cam lobes have been re-engineered on the Dragon to increase the bite against the rock, with a raw aluminium surface with deep grooves scored into them. They're also slightly wider, which increases their gripping power. The cam has dual axles, which means you can place them passively and extends the range of the unit. The lobes are set at a 13.75 degree angle, meaning they should have more grip at the extremes of their range. The thumb section has an improved surface with extra grooves to ensure you don't fumble. This works especially well when wearing gloves. The Dragons have an extendable Dyneema sling built into the cam, meaning you can easily extend your cam to prevent rope drags. The sling has been neatened up in the new version to make it easier to handle and rack better on your harness. DMM cams have always stood for design and manufacturing quality. The lobes are hot forged, which means they are stamped out from a single bit of metal. This makes them very strong and lightweight, exactly what you want from a cam. At this price, they're gonna sell incredibly well, so make sure you grab a bargain before they go. At that price, they will sell quickly, so make sure you get your hands on them while you can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.